Hello everyone. So even though I have been distracted by roof repair and trying to open a little repair shop in town, I would like to do videos at home of tinkering with electronics. And for the time being on my kitchen table, I've been having this Caesar scanner, which I've just been using as a light. Every so often I do scan something for a neighbor, but it's just a light. And then when it comes to magnification, I have my childhood microscope that I've modified in various ways over the past year. And I've done that so that we can have a close picture of stuff. The only problem is that it's just a little bit too zoomed in. So a company offered to send me an electronics microscope. I figured, hey, why not? That'd be great for this. I didn't expect to get distracted by all my recent roof work, but well, we have a few interesting things. One, because the workshop roof has been leaking terribly, this Apple lightning connector seems to have gotten a little bit of moisture on it and then overnight it electrolyzed, the pins gone. And I, I wanna see that further up close. Then, I want to take a look at the circuit boards inside of this Sony Watchman. And then lastly, this winter, I've been saving all these interesting crystals of the ice melt that people have been putting down. And I, I wanna get some close up looks. So let's open this up and let's see. How well could it be used for actual video capture? How good is the frame rate? Is there a rolling shutter? I'm pretty sure there will be. How good is the light? Is there a light? And uh, yeah. What kind of magnification is there? Is it actually a change or do you have to just zoom up and down in order to zoom in? Because this might be perfect for showing things as long as it's not low frame rate. I feel bad that I've had this for so long and haven't done the video yet. So this will be a good time to do it. And then I can get back to doing the, uh, the roof work. So it's an Eliclive 4K autofocus microscope. I wonder if it's a pinhole camera. All right, so I have the power going out here since it's not long enough to go around. I don't have it routed through here, but these little clips come off and you can route it all through there. Okay, oh, very nice. It's a fairly cold blue, but that's probably best for electronics. And then I have this running off of my little anchor battery. Wait a minute. It has a micro SD card in it already. Oh, wow. 64 gigabytes. Okay. What's this mechanism? It's a little bit janky, but oh well. I suppose this goes down lower, huh? So yeah, there's autofocus and these are buttons. Oh, I see, okay. Well, I suppose we can start recording. I switched it to 1080p, 60 FPS. Here are the options. Now, how does one tell it to record without anything? Oh, different features. Okay, so I held it and I'm switching the mode up here. I, just, I do that. Now, oh, look at that. It's actually pretty good and it's recording. So this can go, well, we can zoom up. Yeah. I can lift it up. I can 
out of focus. Look at that, Slackers. The Slackers logo. Now, I believe that the LCD screen is 720p. Now, let's take a look at that darn lightning connector. This might be such a fine detail thing that I may need to actually get the other microscope out. That's a pretty crunchy slide, but a pretty good amount to it. Aha, uh -huh, look at that. So that pin's still there. However, this pin looks like it's gone. I have all these screws from a different project. Well, specifically resisted doing that. Can we get this back to life? Yeah, this actually dug it out. That is some active corrosion. I'm curious. If I take this and plug it into my anchor battery. I take my other phone. It's kind of charged. It'll just be one-sided like a kanji cable. If you don't know what that is, you shouldn't know what that is. Now it not connecting. That's just kind of normal for. It's kind of normal for my uh, phone. Is it actually charging? Yeah, this one's gonna be even more flaky. That's such a shame. That's a that's an authentic Apple cable. It was my best Apple cable, and it got ruined. Well, let's bring in something fun. Let's look at let's look at the Sony Watchman. Now I'm going to open it up, and oh, not that one. Definitely not that screwdriver. I'm going to open it up and I'm going to show you a sneak peek into a future restoration. This one saddens me so much. Look at that view. Oh, it's so nice. Oof. One of the cheapest Sony Watchmans on eBay, and I did not get lucky, not one bit. I opened it up thinking I'd poke around and see how involved would it be to do a YouTube video. It'll be very involved. For context, the batteries that did this came with it, so. Yeah. I threw those away at least. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god.
Mm. I'm tempted to buy another one <laughs> and use this as a parts machine. I I don't know. I just I don't know. So that goes back together, and uh, I'll tackle that when I have more energy. Yeah. Now, as for the final thing, let's take a look at some salt crystals. Also, we could take a look at the printing plate. So these are used for hot stamping. I'm gonna hit the autofocus button. Yeah, these are used for hot stamping of foil. I can't pass these up whenever I find them. These are from my father's print shop when it went out of business. I stole some. Now look at this. Too many over here. That is cool. This works out really well because I wasn't able to focus out enough, zoom out enough with my other microscope. But with this one, if I were to put these on a teeny tiny motor and rotate them, you get a very good sense of their geometry. Now it doesn't keep autofocusing. I found a few other pieces, of really big crystals such as this, and um, I left them at the workshop and I think they may have gotten rained on and disappeared. Oh, and forgive me for my dirty fingers. I've been doing a lot of roof work and I'm trying to clean my fingers, but it's, the stuff just gets everywhere. So with this, we have a bit of a pyramid and it's also kind of built up like that on the bottom. You can see that the uh, pyramid is hollow on the bottom a little bit, just a tiny bit, and then a different one got formed. And then here is one that has a, uh, a pyramid growing into it. I believe this might be calcium chloride, but I don't know for sure. This would be great for minerals though. Oh, let's grab the other mineral. Actually, no, before I grab the other mineral, mineral, let's look at the best example. This is almost a complete crystal, a complete ziggurat pyramid, whatever you call it. It got wet on the bottom now, so it did ripple a bit. All right, where was that little stone that I had? Right here it is. Look at that. Oh, this is really nice. And the fact that the focal length, the focal point is so far away from the lens means that it keeps a lot of things in focus all at once. I like that. Let me grab a coin. How good is this for numismatic interests? Oh, I think it's pretty good. Yeah, that seems pretty good to me. A different coin I was going to. It was on my desk. I wonder what happened to it. Oh, I can't recall the one, or I can't recall what happened to the one that I really liked that was on my desk. Maybe it's behind my desk now, but 
It's a, uh, it was a British pond that had a, a interesting railroad bridge on it. Here's something that I found I'm gonna send to, um, I believe, is that a uh, Swedish coin? Yeah, I think that's the one that I have that I was gonna send to um, my friend that lives in Sweden because she doesn't have any, any coins older than like 1975, so it's definitely older. This is a classic. They've been minting these. They've been minting these Swiss coins forever. They really haven't changed them at all. I like Swiss currency a lot. Well, that's pretty much it. I think we should call it. We should call it there. Oh, it it laughed the recording. Interesting. So, how long are the recordings? Okay, so it does every five minutes. Very cool. Well, everyone. I think that's a pretty good first look. I'll probably bring this to my friend's area where he has uh, an entire office floor for electronics and stuff like that, and I'll let him use it for a bit. And then later on, I would like to be able to use this for various repairs, reverse engineering things, stuff like that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much, um, Alec Cliff, for sending this to me. I'll be using it more in the future. Cause this is actually pretty nice. So yeah. Oh, this thing makes me so sad. Well, guys, Dice has said that this is not gonna leave the the, ha the apartment. This is too cool. So yes. yeah. So I think that's 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 that's. I didn't expect that approval. I thought this would be a tool that I'd I should probably take to the workshop or take to my friend's electronics area, but. Oh, if Thais doesn't want it to leave the apartment, I'm fine with that. It can go on the computer bench once I get that sorted out. Oh, I totally forgot. This thing comes with a mat. Oh, wow. I was so interested in the microscope that I didn't even think about looking at the other stuff in the package. There's a few things. There's a remote control and everything.